Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is equivalent units of production under both the weighted average and the FIFO method. So hopefully this will help you get a grasp on how you calculate these equivalent units of production. What I've got is I've got under the weighted average method, I've got in my beginning inventory, um, I've determined that I'm 60% complete as to conversion and 100% as to materials. My ending inventory is 15 complete percent complete as to conversion and a hundred percent as to materials. So what I've done is I've started 180,000 units, I've transferred out 150,000 units, and I have a hundred thousand units left in my ending inventory. So let's see what I have. Units that were transferred out. My transferred out I have transferred out this 150,000 units. So when I transferred them out, I transferred them out with both material and conversion costs. So that means I have 150,000 units transferred out for materials and 150,000 transferred out as to conversion costs. The question now becomes, what do I have left here in equivalent units in ending inventory? Well, the problem tells me that for materials, as to materials, I'm 100% complete. I have 100, they're 100% complete, and I have 100,000 units in ending inventory. So for materials here, I have a hundred thousand units, but I've still got some work left to do on these units because what it tells me here is that ending inventory is only 15 percent complete as to conversion. And I don't know which units are complete, so I'm just going to apply that 15 percent to that entire hundred thousand units in ending inventory. So what I end up is down here, I end up with 15% complete 100,000 units as to conversion cost. That gives me 15,000 equivalent units. So what are the total equivalent units for all work done to date? I've completed 250,000 units as to materials, again, going back up here to the fact that they're both 100% complete as to materials, but I wasn't 100% complete as to conversion costs. So based on conversion costs, I have 165,000 units. So then if I was going to go a step further and apply what these total costs were, if I knew what my cost direct material cost per unit was, I would multiply that cost per unit for materials by 250,000, but as to conversion costs, which we know are simply direct, um, direct labor and factory overhead, I would multiply that by my 165,000 units. Remember on that weighted average, we combine the work and the costs to using the average cost of the current work and the work in inventory. So let's see how different this is under the FIFO method. All right, now if I'm going to take this with, approach this from the first in, first out, or FIFO process costing, costing what happens is I separate the cost of the current work and the work in beginning inventory. The other thing is that we assume that all the beginning WIP units are transferred out first. So that means my ending WIP is what I started during the current month. So um, I still have the same facts as before. I've got 60% um, complete as to conversion. 100% as to materials, because remember, my beginning WIP inventory is the ending inventory from the previous period. 
So whenever under FIFO, whenever I complete or whenever I start a unit, whatever it is, I issue 100% of the materials at the time I start. So the first thing that I've got to do is I've got to, because I'm FIFO, first units I'm going to complete are what is in my beginning inventory. But here I'm not given a beginning whip balance. So I have to figure out what is, how many units do I have in beginning inventory? Well, if I transferred 150,000 units out and I had 180 in ending inventory and I started 180,000 this period, then what I know is that in beginning inventory I have 70,000 units. So let me show you what that looked like. How did I get the 70,000 units in beginning inventory? I had 150,000 units transferred out. I had 100,000 left in ending inventory. So that means I worked on 250,000 units. 150,000 I completed and 100,000 that I still had left. I started 180,000. So the transferred out plus ending inventory minus units started gives me this 70,000 units in beginning inventory. And that's what I need to be able to calculate these equivalent units right here. All right, I just told you that when units are started, okay, when units are started that they start with 100% of their materials. So I'm always under FIFO, you can always count on the material, the material equivalent units to complete beginning inventory is always going to be zero because I put all of my materials with them at when I started them so I have 0% left and I determined that I had 70,000 equivalent units so I have zero materials but I do have conversion costs right so what do those conversion costs look like well think about it this way the beginning inventory was 60% complete. Now I want to know how much do I have to do to complete them. This is what I've already done. What goes right here is going to be what do I have left to do. I have left 40% of the work. And I've already determined that I have 70,000 units in my beginning inventory. So I take 40% of 70,000 and that tells me I have 28,000 equivalent units. This piece right here as to conversion costs, think about this as what you have left to do. Right? To complete beginning inventory, you're always going to have zero for materials and this percentage right here is going to be what you have left to do. Alright, so I'm done with that. Now I have to determine this piece right here. Started and completed. Well, if they were started and completed, we automatically know that these right here are always going to be 100% as to materials and conversion costs. The question is how many did I start and complete? Well, I already know that I transferred out 150,000 units, right? I transferred out 150,000 units and I had 70,000 in beginning inventory. So remember that under FIFO 
These are the first ones I transferred out, the beginning inventory. If I started 180,000 units, and out of those 180,000 units, I had 100,000 of them left, tells me that what I started and completed this period was 80,000 units. All right. The other way that I can look at that is I can look at the units transferred out, my 150,000 minus my units from beginning inventory, because what I know is that beginning inventory plus my started and completed has got to equal transferred out. Because they were transferred out, I know they were 100% complete. So this piece, whoops, that should be a comma. Sorry, guys. In this portion of your, of your table, so to speak, if we're thinking of this as a table, you know that this right here, started and completed, is always, always, always going to be 100% of started and completed units. All right? So this piece right here, you're never going to have to adjust for a percentage. Right? You're going to, you're going to adjust for what is left to do here. This is what's left to be done. And this is what you accomplished. So what I've done, what I accomplished, what I have left to do. So let's get down to the units in ending inventory. This is kind of the easy part because there's my ending inventory. And there's the information that I'm given. 15% complete is to conversion. 100% is to materials. So I'm going to make the e easy entry first for materials. 100% is to materials. 100,000. Conversion costs. Right? It's already, I already know that I have 100,000 units in ending, ending, pardon me, in ending inventory, because that's what's given right here. Right? That's what's given right here. And I know that in that conversion cost, the problem tells me that they are 15% complete as to conversion. 100,000 times 15% is 15,000 equivalent units. So what I end up with as to materials is 180,000 equivalent units as to materials and 123,000 as to conversion costs. What's going to happen now is when the next period shows up, this right here is going to be my beginning inventory. Well, remember what I just told you is that this is always what I have accomplished. This is what, rather, this is what I have left to, I'm terrible at writing with this, do. Well, if I'm 15% complete at the end, now what I know is that when I flip back over to the beginning of the period, what I'm going to have left right here is 85%. So remember that your ending inventory becomes your beginning inventory for the next period. And because we're going to complete we're going to complete these 100,000 units right here first. They're going to become our to complete beginning inventory right here. So I hope this helps some, and I um, hope you guys have a good day.